All right, Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's see what's coming in for Pisces and love. And what can Pisces expect? Those who are searching for new love. <clears throat> so some of you guys could have... Um, This could either be you or this could be the someone new in your life, Pisces. Um, someone could be going through. <laughs> okay. Pisces. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're talking about it. So... Some of you guys have somebody who you have a lot of chemistry with, okay? Whether they're new, old, whatever. There could be um, a difference in belief systems with this person. Someone here could be wanting to reconcile with you or to have some type of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation of some sort. This could be someone who is wanting to forgive and learn from their past or vice versa, you know, they're wanting for you to forgive and, you know, th this is someone who you have been estranged from. And I'm sorry, I want a new love to come out. I can't, you know, make this reading what you guys want it to be all the time. But I definitely feel like someone who you have withdrawn from, you've retreated from, um, this could have been due to some type of financial issues or problems with career. Um... I do feel like you share, you know, a lot of chemistry with this person, but, and you guys may have, there could have been issues because of belief systems, okay? Um, there could have been issues due to money, but someone is wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and wanting to overcome some type of challenges and reconcile y'all's differences, okay? Um, how is Pisces going to feel about this? How is Pisces, the Six of Swords, how is Pisces going to feel about this, Holy Spirit? I do feel like you'll hear, you'll hear this person out. Um, some of you have already like moved on. You've already transition through something you guys are in a very stable grounded energy um, but I do feel like you're open to hearing what this person has to say some of you two could have damn ace of pentacles and the ten of cups some of you, too, may even want to move past whatever challenges there is here. You could be in this, you know, you could be very practical and grounded at this time. Some of you guys may see this as an opportunity to grow into emotional fulfillment. How is the other person feeling when it comes to this situation? Single cards, please, spirit. Just seen the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. This person wants to tell you why they walked away. They want to tell you the truth about why they walked away. Um, they want to have a conversation or apologize for whatever they've done that may have hurt you. Um, I don't feel like this, this person may have been, they were either hiding things about their status, you know, whether about their financial status or them being single in general. And that could have led to some type of a painful ending here.
Yeah, this person's going to say that, you know, they were stressed out and worried about it looks like it looks like fin financial matters. Why didn't they just say this to Pisces? I don't know. There was some type of conflict here that was going on that they were stressed out about. Or there could have even been conflict with others by opposing opinions about this relationship. So if there was, um, what do you call it, religious factors that was a problem, somebody could have had friends, family, whoever this Five of Wands is, other people who could have had a problem with this situation about someone investing into something and so somebody lied or somebody wasn't honest about something here someone is trying someone here wants to Someone here wants to make something right and have a change for the better. Someone here wants to come in and express uh, that they have deep emotions for this situation. I feel like this person played a lot of mind games out of, due to fear. Okay. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Energy, Leo, and Cancer is here. Hmm. What does this person want with Pisces now? The Lovers, Gemini, Energy. I feel like this person sees you as their soulmate. They want harmony within a connection here. Yeah, they were hiding something. They were, they were, they feared whatever this conflict was or this, um, yeah, the moon and the five of swords here. You also have the moon and the five of wands here. So there was a lot of fear because of some, and somebody played mind games out of fear. Somebody here, there could have been jealousy, um, some underhanded, you know, behavior, drama going on, but I feel like someone was fearing this, someone was hiding this. This was in the past. Someone wants to apologize and have a brand new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Emperor, King of Cups. Yeah, this person's coming in in this Emperor. They're taking charge of a situation in their emotions. They want to work on something now. Some of you guys, this may be unexpected to you. They want to they want to resolve whatever five of swords energy there was. What does this person want with Pisces? The Ace of Cups. They want love. Okay. What does Pisces want with this person? The Five of Wands in the reverse. You whoever I'm reading for, please don't shoot the messenger, okay? But I'm speaking to a Pisces who actually wants to work this out three of pentacles you want to resolve this conflict you want to work this out with this person i know that's not for all of you leave it for who it is okay what else does pisces want with this person sun and the empress you <laughs> you want this person you want growth you want fertility you want your family back you want to start a family you want a happily ever after Okay, you want victory over whatever bullshit, whatever, yeah, whatever happened here, Pisces. You want to overcome this. I'm sorry, y'all. This ain't everybody's reading, but it is coming through today. So some of you have, let's see. What signs is Pisces dealing with in regards to this reading? You got Taurus, Aries, um, Virgo. Someone may have those in their top three. You got Pisces, Virgo, Sag. Pisces, Sag, Virgo, <laughs> same thing. Virgo, Taurus, Cappy. 
Sag, Pisces, Gemini. Cancer, Gemini, Virgo. Aquarius, Taurus. Aquarius, Taurus, and Cancer. This person is strategizing, like, they've been strategizing how they can come in and shift the dynamic of this situation into a balanced energy. Like, this person, the Seven of Swords, was the Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups, Justice. Like, somebody here is wanting to shift the dynamic and take accountability, express their emotions. This person has a lot of deep emotions. Um... This person, too, could also feel like they betrayed themselves by lying. Mm. Or just not being completely forthright about a situation. Whoever this person is, there could have been financial problems. Someone could have had problems with their job, with their money, with their career, with their... Um, stability there could have even been religious factors this is someone you who you have a lot of chemistry with who you've retreated from but with forgiving and learning here and reconciliation someone wants to release and heal the past so that they can experience more love in their present moments and have a reconciliation so this is someone who's wanting to like put aside y'all's differences for love somebody here may have also um, eliminated the factors that were causing conflict in the situation to begin with because there is a retreat so this is someone who you have been disconnected from for some time okay I'm gonna leave this message here you guys can hit the like button if you want again heart to heart conversations love yourself first and worth waiting for calling in your soulmate so some of you guys there was this this could have been like someone who it was the wrong timing. There were still things that needed to be learned. This is worth waiting for. Healing family issues and romantic feelings. Someone here is wanting to heal family family issues. Wanting to heal a situation, y'all. Someone may have also had to heal family issues on their part or your part. Vice versa. Take it as it resonates. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.